For our third method, we're going to use another image and use basically the lens flare uh, we chose and drop it on our image. Um, to do this, uh, we can um, search on Google. There are so many good royalty free lens flare. So it's just a matter to choose one where the resolution is good enough for your image or it's free, but you also can pay for it um, if you have the budget um, and use one that it looks really good to create the effect you want. So for this image, I already chose uh, to flare a light, um, which is this one. and and also for the shapes this one okay so it's very important to choose um, an image with a um, black background where you can see more um, the shapes and you can actually change the blending mode um, to screen so it's easier for you um, to do the effect um right the first thing i want to do is to drag the first image so i select my v2 um, and clicking shift and move and drag the image of uh, the flare on my image as you can see we need to change um, the blending mode uh, to screen and obviously move the flare where we want it to be here so you can still see um, actually the lines uh, the edge of the other picture so we need to raise this um, to do this we, um, we will add a layer mask a white layer mask and we go into paint with black um, to erase it. We choose our brush, the soft brush, and then we gonna paint over with black to erase the edge. Make sure all edge is gone. Right. Okay. Here we have our nice sun with the rays and a little bit of. Um, also ghosting and um, we can increase or decrease the size with free transform make it a little bit smaller change the position yes okay then we, we want to use the second image and we're gonna do the same um, the move tool and shift and drag the image and again change the blending mode to screen here it is and um, before doing anything we going to choose the position of this beautiful nice shapes maybe somewhere here uh, yeah i like to go a bit on a i can reduce the size a bit and yeah match the blue dot enter and uh, let's erase uh, the edge i can see an edge here also to see more you can add on top a uh, visualization layer so darken the image so you can see more uh, where is the edge so we add an empty mask white mask and we paint with black uh, over the edge to erase them uh, what? okay Let's see, I can't see any edge. So remove the visualization layer. Okay, so now we got our two um, flares from other images on top of our image. 
and how easy this was i think this is the best way to create flare as because um the the flares are real and you know they look great um, obviously you need to choose make sure you choose the right resolution for it otherwise they can be pixelated um, so we put them this in a group and uh, metal tree um, yeah also as before uh, we can um, we can change uh, maybe the light of the sun and the tone um, so we're gonna upload another adjustment layer filter that we like and uh, um, with alt click we connect it to the sun uh, mask maybe we can increase our nice um, we can increase the density of the of the tone uh, obviously we have blue but it doesn't really look good here um, and also we can uh, increase uh, maybe the tone of these beautiful shapes uh, so let's load new saturation alt click using the mask below and just uh, increase a bit maybe to 10 the saturation right uh, this is our nice uh, um, third method before and after if you want to raise maybe uh, the flare on her face you can add an empty mask to the whole group white mask select your brush black and with a big soft brush tip you paint over the model to erase a bit of the effect uh, on the face before and after this is our third method guys i hope you enjoy my lens flare tutorial uh, all three methods are really good and um, I suggest more the third one uh, for a more effective, realistic uh, lens flare. Uh, but it's up to you which one you enjoy most. Um, please uh, keep watching my tutorial and um, keep learning. Thank you.